when you start integrating what's true for you in your real life into the content that you're creating and sharing online, the imposter syndrome evaporates. It begins to loosen its grip. Hey, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Abigail. I'm a consultant, educator, and content creator for women over 40 who are wanting to show up online and create content that's meaningful. And today, I am in my happy place in the forest, and I'm gonna take you behind the scenes to show you how I create some stock images for my own Instagram and blog content. So you might notice that I'm not in your average uh, studio, photo studio, or office space. I am, in fact, here in the forest, which is a place that I try and frequent as often as possible. And the reason is, is because my personality archetype is that of explorer. And so this, for me, is my natural habitat. Now this is a mistake I see many women over 40 making, and it's a mistake that I used to make myself and that is creating and sharing content that doesn't align, that content that is created in an environment that is not my natural habitat. You know, an example of that is um, this trend, and I don't even know if it's a trend anymore, but for female entrepreneurs, branding being all gold, white, and pink. And I thought, oh, okay, well, that's the in thing, and that's what I should be doing. And so I followed that path and I couldn't understand why I felt so much like an imposter in this entrepreneur space. And it's because what I was creating and sharing was out of alignment. I like that branding, it's pretty. Um, I can create it and I can create it very well, but it's just not who I am. And it was only when I started coming to my natural habitat, coming to my natural environment, creating content that is inherently in alignment with who I am, with my explorer archetype, that I began feeling differently about the way I showed up in the online space, about um, what I was sharing, and that it felt real, and that it felt like me, and that my energy was wholly and completely injected in the content that I was sharing. And this is something that I hear all the time, you know, for women over 40, but any woman um, who is hesitant about being active in the online space is dealing with imposter syndrome. And so this is a very actionable step that you can take to overcome that imposter syndrome. Stop trying to be somebody else. Stop, tr stop putting things out there that aren't really you. And when you do that, when you are sharing content and images and videos and the kinds of things that light you up in your personal capacity outside of Instagram, outside of business even, when you start integrating what's true for you in your real life into the content that you're creating and sharing online, the imposter syndrome evaporates. It begins to loosen its grip. So that's it for the lesson. Let's get on to the behind the scenes of creating some forest inspired stock images. So the first thing I need to do is just look for a spot and the vision I have in my head is of an old tree stump, nicely shaded. I brought a couple of notebooks, I brought a compass, I brought some fairy lights, I may or may not use them, I don't know, we'll see. And I just want to have a couple of images that I can use for like quote posts and, and things like that. I'm looking to get maybe about 10 or so shots, that's all, so nothing, nothing huge. But it's got to be the right setting, so first we need to find our location. That could work, but... I don't think so. Not quite what I'm looking for. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I have seen it. Mm -hmm. So here's a nice looking stump. That moss, or probably better yet, is this one. I think we have a winner. So I do love the texture of this wood. I think 
it'll make for a beautiful background. And I love the little ferns here as well. I think that'll make for a beautiful accessory. And now it's just to get out my props. And the sun is coming and going. It's a bit cloudy and windy out, so we'll see if it works or not. But yeah, no time like the present. was to have because I do do a lot of content creation with my phone the plan was also to have some photos with my my phone in the shot but yesterday I dropped my phone and I cracked the screen I'm really unhappy about it but you know what I think I'm actually gonna keep it in the shots because we're not meant to be perfect and I'm certainly not perfect and neither is my Explorer archetype so yeah we're gonna go with a cracked screen and then there is one more prop that i forgot to mention which i'm really excited about because after this shoot i will be very much in need of this coffee <laughs> got a nice flask of coffee freshly brewed which i'm gonna be enjoying once i get these shots my scene does very much shout explorer my um, props are all have a kind of adventure and explorer kind of vibe um, this is my compass I absolutely love this compass and I use it a lot in my imagery because it speaks to finding direct direction and finding your way and finding your path and uh, phone because Technology is one of the tools that helps us do that and then of course coffee in a in a very much adventurer kind of mug So no gold white and pink pristine office space here and that makes my heart so happy So I'm I just basically shoot to get a variety of um, Scenes and vignettes. I'll shoot from the top. I'll shoot down from the side I'll shoot vertical and I'll shoot horizontal as well I'll get wide shots and I'll get close-up shots as well so yeah let's see how we go because my husband is jogging somewhere here and I think his jog is probably done by now so he'll be waiting for me so I have to get going but I hope you enjoyed coming along on this mini adventure with me and seeing how I create content that is aligned with my personal archetype and I hope it gave you more motivation and inspiration to create content for your online profiles and platforms that's more aligned with who you really are and do you know what your personality archetype is? If not, head over to abigailk.com forward slash quiz and you can find out in 10 minutes time and you can start creating content that aligns with who you really are so that you are more motivated and inspired to get your phone out and create 
create photos, create videos, show up in the online space. Let me know if this was helpful in the comments and please let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see more of. What do you need help with right now with your creating content? or anything related to being an over 40 woman entrepreneur. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications button. Shit, there's nobody here. And I'll see you in the next one.